Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to create droplets on a camera using Adobe After Effects. So this is the effect that we're going for here. Making it look like water droplets are hitting the camera and slowly beginning to slide down as they gather together and, and pool and slide together. So for obvious reasons, it's not recommended that you actually get water on your camera lens. So this is a nice way to create that effect without endangering your camera. So the first thing that we're going to do is I've got my footage here, which is basically just, just a, uh, a quick still or an image. And we're going to duplicate this because the nature of the effect is it's going to sit on top of one version of the footage while another version of the footage sits underneath. So hold Control or Command and push D and that will duplicate it. And go to Effect, Generate, and there's this cool effect in there called, actually, go to Effect, Simulation. And there's this cool effect called Mr. Mercury. And so we're going to apply that. And we'll make the underlying footage invisible. And so as we begin to scrub through the timeline, you can see it's like a goo gun spitting out these huge globs. And what it's revealing is the composition underneath, or the footage underneath. And that's not really what we're going for. So the first thing we want to do is to stop this sort of spewing spiral coming out. We just want it to stay flat on the screen. And so if we go into the control effects panel, we can set the gravity to zero and the velocity to zero. And you can see this kind of just stays in one spot and globs up. We want this effect to cover the entire frame. And so come up to the, uh, the X and Y radius and expand them out like, like so, so that begin to cover it up, filling the whole frame. And that's more, that's more like what we're going for. Not quite, but it's, it's closer. Now, it's got this kind of growing animation that's not really working for us. And if you come down to this influence map, it's, it's sort of one of the animation properties. It has a lot of these, these presets for you, and what it's set to is blob in and out, which means it's going to sort of grow in and then shrink back out again. And we really want it to snap in and then shrink out as the water's hitting the camera and draining off. So we just want to select blob out. And that's better, but you're getting still some of that growing. And so what's happening is if you look down at this death size and birth size, the death is greater than the birth, which means that it's going to get bigger the longer it lives on the frame. And we don't want that. We want them to be exactly the same size. So let's set both of these to 0.5, which I found to be a pretty good size for these, these particles. And now that's getting to be more of what we want. They're kind of splashing onto the camera and then shrinking and melding together. That's pretty close to what we want. The only other issue is that there's, there's quite a lot of them all at once. So let's, they come on pretty quickly. Let's slow that down a little bit. We'll go up to the uh, birth rate control and set it to 0.1. And that's a little bit more gradual, more like a light rain. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The only thing that we, we really need to do now is make these live a little bit longer. You can see they're disappearing pretty quickly off of the frame if we preview this. They're not really living that long. And uh, water doesn't evaporate that quickly. So let's set the longevity here to 10. So that's uh, 10 seconds. And if we preview this again, that's a little bit more like what we want to see where they're, they're staying a little bit and as they animate out it's more like they're being absorbed by the other parts and like you watch water running down a window and it kind of collects together. That's more like what we want. And we can, from here on, it's mostly just taste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the gravity to be a 0.01. Just a tiny bit of gravity. So that as they're on the frame, they slowly begin to sort of drain down. And if we turn on the, the layer underneath it, you can see these water droplets on there. They're perfectly, exactly the same color. And they're also a little bit pronounced, too pronounced. So I'm going to do a couple of things to, to change that. First, I'm going to come down to color correction. 
and I'm going to select curves. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the blue underneath the, uh, the channel and bring the midtones up a little bit so that you get more of a blue color. And again, now everything is too pronounced. So we'll come under transform and we're going to bring the opacity down. As I begin to scrub through the opacity, you can see it disappearing. And we want it on there, but not too much. So right about there, right about 60% seems pretty good. And if we preview this again, you can kind of see water style droplets hitting the camera and slowly running down on top of your shot, distorting the shot underneath it as they go. I'm Josiah Ray, and I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to create water droplets hitting your camera.